God bless you. Hey, day 30, day 30. Man, can you believe this? 30 days into this 40-day life building, consecrated life building exercise and experience. What a great day. What a great time this has been. I'm so thankful that you chose to spend this time with me. I'm so thankful that you've allowed me in your life to talk to you, to encourage you, to um, be encouraged by you. The fact that you are tuning in, it very much blesses me. And I just want you to know I appreciate it. Just want to adjust a little bit out a little high there, but um, I'm good now. Uh, high in terms of location. I want to make sure that I said that properly. <laughs> hey, we're in day 30, and I want to jump right in. Day 30. And we're talking about overcoming laziness, overcoming laziness, for real. I'm serious. Laziness is something that is very easily picked up, but often difficult to let go. Do you, you hear me? I mean, laziness, once to get hold of you, it, it can become not just a, a, a habit, it's a lifestyle. And you start getting lazy about things, you start letting things slip, you start putting yourself in a position that you refuse to do more than you think you ought to. I like those scriptures in Proverbs that talks about laziness. And as a man uh, turneth about on his bed, so a door on his hinges. And uh, just talks about, you know, have the ability to do something, but not doing it having the ability to do it and not the willingness. Now, on today, we're talking about laziness because I understand, like, you know, uh, when you're looking at a situation and you're understanding that it's going to take some work, sometimes you just don't feel like it. Let's be honest about it. This is day 30. And, and you know, after doing the same thing by, by way of getting up, getting in the routine I asked you to get in, change your mindset, take out the index cards, you know, sometimes you're like, I don't have to do it today. I remember uh, a few weeks ago that I was working out and I did not feel like doing anything. I wasn't sick. I wasn't hurt. I wasn't hurting. It's just that particular day, I didn't want to be bothered. I didn't want to be bothered. I didn't want to do it. But, you know, I spoke to myself and I remembered the goals that I had in mind and I pushed myself beyond what I felt. Laziness requires a push. It requires that you say to yourself, look, I got some goal in mind. I got something that I need to do, something that I want to accomplish, something that I want to make sure takes place. So when you don't feel like it, that's very much human. But when you push yourself, that's very much what you need to do. So anybody can be lazy. Not everybody accomplishes. And uh, laziness is often the um, feeling of those who don't accomplish because they refuse to do the push in order to accomplish. So what I need you to understand how uh, we're going to get through this today, we're going to decide that we're not going to be lazy. Now, we're going to make a conscious effort. So let's say there's something you don't want to do, something you got up today to do that um, you made a decision to do, but then when you thought about it, you decided, I don't want to do it. So what I'm going to do is challenge you to go back and do that thing. Go ahead and get it done. Like, I don't want to clean the toilet today. <laughs> I don't want to cut up those potatoes today. I I don't want to break uh, the seal on this uh, jar of peaches today. I don't know. But something that is very doable, but you just decided you don't want to do it. I'm challenging you to go back and do it. Listen, our focus scripture is Psalm 106 and Psalm 107. Two Psalms that I want you to go read. So I'm going to stop early and I want you to spend the rest of our time together in Psalm 106 
and Psalm 107. Now, I'm going to be back tomorrow, day 31, and let's continue talking about overcoming laziness for real. Okay? Love you. God bless.